Hi, I'm Bob Wetterman from Prince of Peace. I've been involved in adoptive family for, believe it or not, 17 some odd years. I started with uh, this organization uh, with another church organization, and then as time progressed, got other social service groups to adopt families. We actually adopt some families in our business. And then about three or four years ago, I started uh, helping with the Prince of Peace team with this adoptive family coordination with the Palatine Township and other organizations where we adopt children and families with these gifts. And so I've been, been at this for quite some time, either as a giver or kind of as a cheerleader, or in the case of Prince of Peace as an organizer. It's not just uh, you know giving stuff, but it's giving your time, talent, and treasures. And um, you know and what, what's really neat about this program is it's really three things that I think are the most important. Um, number one, it really plugs us into our neighbors. And if you look at Palatine specifically, you know when we think of Palatine, we have lots of we have we have a lot of things, and we're very blessed. But in the Palatine community. You know, 25% of the people come from another country. About a third of families don't even speak English as a first language at home. And if you go right down the street, about 70% of the kids at some grade schools in Palatine are on either free or reduced lunches. So those are our neighbors. And, and so the beauty of this program is we really get to, you know, kind of attach to and really learn who our neighbors are. So, th so that's number one. And number two, is that um, it can involve multiple generations. So, you know, as a potential donating family, you can bring your children around the process. Go shopping with them. Go down the Target aisles and say, hey, you know, for Susie this year, look, we're gonna, we're gonna buy a doll. And uh, in fact, uh, you can even go in the other extreme. I've actually had my 70 plus year old father take pictures as part of the POP program. So, you know, it could be multiple generations, just like Feed My Starving Children is a great event for something like that. So that, you know, that's a, a second reason. And then the last reason is really, you know, the reason to kind of turn Christmas upside down from the secular approach of, hey, just give me stuff. It really sets my heart and, and sets our family's heart kind of in the spirit of giving and then being able to tell the story of the gift that we got through giving or, or the receipt of the Christ child well, what, what, uh, what it definitely sets, at least from a personal standpoint, it sets, in, it sets us right, our family right, me personally right, uh, when, the, when this program starts. And it starts basically in mid-November and it runs through this distribution day, which is usually that second Saturday of the, of the month of December. So it kind of sets up your heart for um, giving and not just, again, just getting stuff in the Christmas season. So it kind of, it sets my heart straight for, for what the season is all about.